not soon and by the time you're watching this video it's going to be available for purchase and it's going to be exclusive to sprint and its name implies you kind of think it's going to be all about the speed given the name bolt but before i get into that let's talk about the design now from the front it kind of looks like the htc 189 from last year but it's actually more in line to the htc 10 just because it is a unibody aluminum construction and when you look at the back it has those same very thick cut contoured beveled edges which gives it a very distinctive look Overall, the phone feels pretty wide. It's a big phone, of course, but at least with the metal construction, it does have that sense of solidness to it. What's important to note here, though, is that it has an IP57 rating, which means there is a level of water resistance with the design, which is pretty impressive given that very few phones, especially metal phones, offer it. So another thing worth mentioning is that it doesn't have a headphone jack. Everything's done through the USB Type-C port. It's not the first time as we've seen the iPhone and some other recent Android devices do this. So if you're used to that, you might be bummed about it, but it does come included with this special pair of headphones. Now it utilizes this HTC Boom Sound Audio Adaptive technology so that the headphones themselves will deliver a customized experience just to give it more of an immersive feel and fine tune it to your specific liking. Now it's named Bolt for a reason and that's because it's going to be running off of Sprint's LTE Plus network for really fast data speeds. You have 3 by 20 megahertz carrier aggregation support thanks to the Snapdragon X10 LTE modem it's using. Now here in New York City it's not yet available but just knowing that it has that ability means that you're going to get fast data speeds. As far as the rest of the phone is concerned, you have a 16 megapixel rear camera in the back. Hopefully it's going to take decent shots just like the HTC 10. You have the 8 megapixel front facing camera. You have the fingerprint sensor that doubles as the home button for security. It's running Android 7.0 uh, with the Sense UI interface. And it's powered by a Snapdragon 810 chip with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now you might be scratching your head why they went with the 810 as opposed to something newer like the 820. Now they tell us that this is an updated chipset, so 